Hello and welcome to episode 29 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking blockchains and sidechains. I'll timestamp the video in the description below. We have 10 minutes. Let's get started. So today we're talking the XDAI blockchain or XDAI stake, hashtag S-T-A-K-E, about $12 per token, $35 million circulating market cap, about $100 million fully diluted market cap. So we do have a big difference between our circulating supply and our total supply of stake tokens. Now, that 8.5 million could increase. Let's quickly look at their token distribution. The stake token has an initial circulating supply of 8.5, roughly 8.5 million. Additional stake tokens are minted as staking rewards, 15% of stake tokens. So we do have a 15% APR for stake tokens or for stake, stake token holders. So this 8.5 could increase in the future. So watch out for dilution risk that if you are a long-term holder of XDAI stake, um, part, uh, Plan on being a validator or a delegator, which we'll get into. Quick TLDR investment thesis. The XDAI chain is a stable payments blockchain designed for fast and inexpensive stable transactions. It's a side chain of Ethereum focused on massively increased usability and very low transaction fees. So what is a side chain? Um, let's get into it. It's a side chain of Ethereum in that I can open up my MetaMask right here. And at the top, you'll always see the main Ethereum network. There it is. Now, what I can also do is I can change networks. We have Robston test, test networks, Coven test networks, and I actually added XDAI down here. So I can still use MetaMask, and there, there we go. I have 15.27 XDAI in my MetaMask wallet, and I've just moved to the side chain of Ethereum, and now my MetaMask wallet can communicate with dApps built on the, built on the XDAI stable blockchain. Also to note, Please note that XDAI, the stablecoin, is different from my stake tokens. So as you can see, I don't have any stake tokens at the moment. I just have a little bit of XDAI that I could use for products and services um, with dApps um, and with merchants. Quick timeline. Our first block was created back in two, October 2018. It's a partnership between the POA network, the Proof of Autonomy Network, which is a list of, I believe, these validators right here. And we have some really big names in crypto who are validators for the XDAI chain. And MakerDAO, obviously, it's a it's a partnership with MakerDAO because MakerDAO's native is native token is Dai, and we're just simply wrapping Dai here to be able to use Dai on a side chain blockchain, the XDAI blockchain. Uh, I, like I mentioned, we had a we've had a seed round, a private round, a public sale, all for um, less than sixty six cents a token, which was our token issuance price um, in April of twenty twenty. So just a recent token issuance price at sixty five cents. I believe they've only raised a little under a million dollars. Please let me know in the comments if you think they've raised more than that. I thought it was a little low. Um, so it's if that's true, it's good to see the organization kind of not bootstrapping, but you know doing a lot and growing a large community with a lot of products and services with a little bit of, with only a little bit of funding. Moving on to fundamental valuation propositions. At the end of the day, we're looking at a blockchain that wants to be cheaper and faster than Ethereum, lower gas prices, faster transaction times. So here is their website. Welcome to XDAI Stake. I did want to show you what the bridge looks like. So how does someone get XDAI? Well, I can take it, I can either go from ETH mainnet and take DAI, and I can transfer that and get XDAI. And then if I'm ever done with it, I can take my XDAI chain, and I can take my XDAI and request DAI back to it one for one. So I'll always have a one for one there. So that is the bridge.xchai.chain.com. Um, we're also enabling ease of use, better UI, easy onboarding to crypto. So one of the big use cases here for the XDAI chain is consumer usage. Um, they want XDAI to be a consumer um, cryptocurrency stablecoin that we can use in everyday life. The other reason is because we have a one token model now for transactions. Instead of paying for products or services with a cryptocurrency, say Ethereum, say Bitcoin, say a stablecoin, on Ethereum, you're paying for gas in Ethereum. So it's a two-token system most of the time. Well, on the XDAI stable chain, um, if you pay for a transaction in XDAI, you're also paying for your gas in XDAI as well. So it is a one-token model for transactions. Um, and I think that's going to lead to some innovative dApps and some innovative applications that come out. Everyday consumer use of stablecoins is what they want. Um, they have a fixed staking APR percentage equal to 15% plus. So quickly going through our Word document, like I mentioned, we have our XDAI blockchain. 
that we've kind of seen so far. Um, let's see some use cases of that blockchain and some actual products as well. Here's the use cases. Peer-to-peer -peer payments, community currencies, platform for prediction markets, platform for blockchain games, already games being built on the XDAI uh, blockchain, NFT mint and transfer, digital voting, DAO governance, cryptocurrency for events and conferences. So as you can see, it's definitely got a large vision here um, in terms of being a layer one solution or at least a side chain to a layer one solution. So that's use cases for our XDAI blockchain. Um, let's see projects and dApps that are live. The, the good stuff. Um, as you can see, XDAI stable chain is an EVM compatible Ethereum sister chain. This means any smart contractor DAP deployed on Ethereum can also be deployed on XDAI with minimal changes. So it would be great to see DAPs already on Ethereum kind of just migrate their code or duplicate their code onto XDAI. Let's see some third party dot. Uh, projects and dApps. We have Gnosis. That's their big one. Now, it's a, it's an interesting thing with Gnosis. I had a look at their market cap. They've got a fully diluted market cap of $444 million, um, And they're built on XDAI, who has a fully diluted valuation of $101 million. So to answer the age-old question of can dApps be worth more than the actual platforms they're built on, I think we have an answer. And that answer is yes, at least for a short amount of time. Now back to our projects, our third-party projects and dApps. We've got primary partnerships, Gnosis and Hopper, um, as well as infrastructure, raid guild building for them. We have community engagements and events. Um, the proof of attendance protocol has now migrated to XDAI. Um, we also have governance uh, dApps as well in, in projects, NFT-based projects, exchanges, XMoon Exchange, which I believe is uh, re related to Reddit. It, Reddit's moons. Um, we have HoneySwap, which is a Uniswap clone. We have DAOs being built on the XDAI chain. We have prediction markets, games, and more. So wanted to show you both use cases and how they are broad with a variety of use cases. And now I wanted to show you that there's also a broad variety of third-party projects and dApps already deployed on XDAI. One of the biggest ones is their burner wallet. Um, this burner wallet was used at ETH Denver and I think of a couple other ETH conferences where they transferred something like $38,000 worth, um, worth of food and beverage. They gave everyone a burner wallet, gave everyone some XDAI because the food was free. And I believe all of the total fees were 20 cents. Quite amazing. Here is the burner wallet. As you can see, it wants me to change to the DAI network. Um, maybe I just need to actually refresh my page. Um, if I refresh my page, that little kind of alert should go away because now I'm on the XDAI network and I'm not on the Ethereum mainnet. It didn't go away. That's odd. Um, it was working earlier, so you'll have to trust me on that one. Another one I'd like to show you is the Power Pool Alpha. Um, this is accumulating governance power in Ethereum-based protocols, so you're pretty much accumulating governance tokens. Let's go to the app, and I want to show you what you know sister chains and competing blockchains look like when uh, a, a dApp has access to multiple. Um, I've connected my wallet. Actually, let me just make this large. Here's my Ethereum mainnet. It will also let me choose between Ethereum mainnet, the XDAI network, the Matic network, or a Coven test network. Looking at the XDAI token, XDAI token is one, one XDAI equals one DAI, used for transactions, payments, and fees, analogous, analogous to ETH on Ethereum. We also have the stake token, which we're looking at today as a valuation. Um, it's used to support proof of stake consensus design to and, and designed to secure the payment layer. Um, it's not required. You don't need to hold stake to then be able to use XDAI for products and services. Um, and we are looking at like a 15% APR for validators. That is what they are claiming, which would be really great if it's true. Great. Um, wallets used on the XDAI. So I've shown you that we can add a custom RPC. That's what they're called. Um, when we can add a custom RPC or a custom sidechain or blockchain to our MetaMask wallet and use that here. Or I downloaded the Nifty wallet today. The Nifty wallet is native to the XDAI stablechain. And here we are. And actually, look, Nifty can actually support Ethereum, XDAI, Ethereum Classic. So let's actually go back over to XDAI. Um, and as you can see, there are my stake tokens, if I had any, in my Nifty wallet. So you have your Nifty wallet, and you also have your MetaMask wallet as your two as your two gateways into the XDAI stable chain. Staking. Um, let me just quickly see if I can find staking. Um, there is Easy Staking that's open right now for delegators. Um, while we're talking about it, 
delegators at 20k minimum stake um, to create a validator pool. Um, for a delegator, I believe it's 1,000. Let me see if I can just bring up easy, easy staking um, for XDI. Here we are. Now, our investment risk, before we go on to our Google Sheet, I did want to quickly talk about our investment risk. Looks like we have a developer adoption risk. We need dApps built on the XDI chain um, and not other blockchains. Delegator adoption risk, um, I think it's 1K to stake um, as a delegator. That's a lot. That's $12,000. Um, so I'm hoping that goes down. Smart contract risk, like always. Layer 1 competition risk consumer adoption risk, and UI UX risk, but that's pretty much open for everyone in crypto. Let me connect my wallet. Look, I'm actually on the wrong network for their easy staking. They want me to actually go back, I believe, to the Ethereum mainnet. So let me do that, and I'll show you that once you do that, we can connect our wallet. And it says it still wants me to connect to the mainnet. Let's see if I press refresh real quick. So this is something where UI UX is, is a little... It's a little tedious early on in terms of being early in crypto. Our UI UX is not always the best, and that's fine. That's something that we have to deal with as early adopters. Um, but it's something that I hope XDAI and all the other blockchains are solving, and I think they are so they are they are trying to solve it. Quickly, let's move over to our Google Doc to wrap up here in a minute. Um, our comparables are certainly other blockchains. I want DApps to build on XDAI as well as these other blockchains or choose XDAI instead of these blockchains. And of course, for XDAI, I think stablecoin, you have to compare XDAI to all other stablecoins um, for usage statistics. Our valuation measurements, I wanna see real world consumer usage. So I wanna see um, more of the tests at, at, as such that happened at you know ETH Denver and ETH Boston. Um, mobile phone app, I'd love a phone app so I can go and use this at stores um, for ease of use. I want a stable long-term 15% APY for my staking. A dApp built on the XDAI chain. So I want to see far more dApps built on the XDAI chain and lower delegator minimum. I want to be able to just put in, you know, we should have the retail investor be able to benefit off staking um, just as much as, as the more institutional investors. Really quick to wrap up, here's our little investment exercise. If we start with $1,000 based on today's price, we get about 84 tokens, 84 stake tokens. I've estimated market caps and I've estimated circulating supplies all the way up to 8.5. Based on those two estimates, we can simply do some mathematics to back into token price, investment value, percent, percent profit um, based on those pretty much random um, market caps of 100 million, 1 billion, and 5 billion. As always, I see four outcomes for our crypto investments. Failure, selling the third BTC bull run coming up, selling the fourth BTC bull run later this decade, or hodl, stake, and be a user in the network. And that is our quick analysis and fundamental valuation propositions of the XDAI stable chain. So check it out. I do want to note that this xdiechain.com website is wonderful. It has a lot of great resources here. And do head over, my favorite page as always, head over to their projects and dApps to actually go and click through some of the organizations that are already building with unique um, dApps and projects on the XDAI chain and why they're choosing to not go with Ethereum or not go with other blockchains. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Crypto Cartography. Like and subscribe. We have started doing morning research calls, so please join in the morning and we'll, st we'll just go through Twitter and talk about the, day, the, the, the day's news and the day's activity in crypto so that you and I can keep up to date on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you and happy crypto investing.